Jade Evolutions by Strats of Sampling is out now. Let's take a look at it. So you may have asked yourself already, what is this thing here in the middle and why didn't he touch any of it? So you probably already know what an XY pad is, just in case if not, basically in each of these corners here, you have different sounds, different samples, different presets. And when I move this little leaf, this little cursor here around, basically the patch that it is closest to has more presence, more volume. So let's check this out. Let's check out another patch. And yes, some of these patches sound really cool when you hold a full chord. And right at this point, it would be appropriate to say, but wait, there is more. As if this wouldn't be enough that you have four patches or one patch in each of these corners here, you also have additional synth overlays. So let's listen to the full patch here. And for now, let's ignore these four patches here and let's just solo this synth overlay A. Now let's listen to B. So just in case, if you want to have these synth overlays louder, you can control the volume here, balance as you like, and then have something like this. So now you can even go one step further and change each of these sounds. And just to avoid confusion, it would cause a lot of clutter probably with a contact GUI if you just go in here and have an individual drop down for each of these. So there is something better. You have the zones menu here. And in this zones menu, you can easily select what you want, synth overlay A or B, or you can target these individual zones here. So to be honest, I'm not sure it's probably a contact issue that you don't have something like auto audition for these presets, but this is not a problem for me. If you want to come up with something custom made, let's say you go over to this XY pad tab here and hit solo. So you just have the synth overlay A and you just go in here and say, okay, just Let's pick this pad, then I go back, hit solo for this other one here. Hit synth overlay B, then I just browse around. Let's use this one here. And now if you want to set up this XY pad, you just mute the outside and just go like this. You could of course go in here and do it like this, but if you want to listen to these individually you just go over here hit zones and hit this one 
And let's pick woodwinds here. Let's use this one. Then we hop over, pick it like this. Hop over here, pick the zone four. And let's use string ensemble here. Let's use this for now. Now let's check over to zone one. Let's pick SD pads. That sounds cool. Up over to zone three. Move this over here too. And let's pick plucked strings. That's cool. Now let's head back. Unmute this one. And we can enjoy our custom patch. So of course, if you're not a fan of custom made patches, I mean, who isn't, but you know, just to get an idea of what is going on, what you have available, what is pre-made, you can hop over to the browser here. And for example, you can say, I just want dark patches. So you can pick a mood here and just, let's pick Valhalla here. Let's hop back and let's enjoy this patch. That sounds so cool. There's another thing that I wanted to show you, and this clearly shows me that the team behind Strats of Sampling is working in the favor of their customers. So what I'm trying to say is that it is not just sample library developers saying, yeah, just let's do it like this, whatever it may work. No, they are also composers and they instantly know and intuitively know what other composers want. So what I'm trying to say here is that when I loaded the library, CC1 and CC11 that both are the most used MIDI commands are connected to the XY pad already. So on my controller, for example, I have CC1 and CC11 set up next to each other. And this is pretty cool because with CC1 or the mod wheel controller, I can control this XY pad vertically. And with CC11, I can control it horizontally or I can do like all of these crazy things, you know. Why did I mention it that particularly? Because there are two types of composers. Type one composer would play these patches live and instantly record the automation while they are recording the patch. And type two composer would be the one that is recording the patch as it is, or clicking the MIDI note in with a mouse, and then later would want to automate this XY pad here. So let's quickly jump into Studio One and show this to you. So you first want to record the patch. Okay, that's enough. And now when you want to record the XY pad, you hit right in your digital audio workstation and you just hit play. Now to play it, you simply had to read and enjoy the show. Now, of course, you have way more features with that library. You can hop in and clear the zones with this command. You can load a preset file that you did before from a folder. You can also click this button to save the current zone state in a preset file. You have the built-in help. You also have a mixer in here. You also have the contact effects available. Always keep in mind that you can right click and learn a MIDI CC controller. So I could attach it to my controller here and automate even more stuff. So as always, I put down the link in the video description to the Strats of Sampling website. Make sure to check out Jade Evolutions. And also I say thanks already for checking out this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe to my channel. Let me play you one more patch. Bye for now and see you on another video.